Prince Harry and William have allegedly grown apart in recent months, as the Sussex and Cambridge families strive for their independence separate of one another. According to royal expert Ingrid Seward, the eldest brother has been bothered by Harry's repeated attempts to move away from tradition. Princes William and Harry have notably debuted in public together less and less this year, adding fuel to speculation all may not be well between the royal pair. The palace has repeatedly denied any claims of bad blood between the brothers, claiming any splits in the houses are purely administrative. The birth of baby Archie spurred Harry and Meghan's decision to depart from tradition, as the couple wants to raise him as a private citizen. William, however, is allegedly bothered at his brother's repeated flouting of royal protocol. Speaking on Channel 5 documentary William and Harry, Princes at War? Ingrid Seward said William sees Harry and Meghan's intentions as detrimental to the family. She said, I would think it might bother William a little bit because he might see the way that Harry and Meghan do things as being detrimental to the business of the monarchy as a whole. M. Seward continued, saying the manner in which Harry and Meghan have pursued privacy is not the royal way. She explained the senior royal's position would prevent them from obtaining the privacy they desire. M. Seward continued, it wasn't done in a very royal way, or the way we'd come to expect. But then Harry's excuse was, well, I'm a private person. But you cannot be royal and be sixth in line to the throne and be a private person. Harry and Meghan's repeated attempts to dodge the public eye has caused outrage among both royal critics and fans, who believe the couple have a duty to the people. Speaking on the Pod Save the Queen podcast, Daily Mirror Royal editor Russell Myers said Harry's position means he can't have one foot in and one foot out. He said, certainly. Harry would like to be more like Zara and Mike, Tyndall, and have that freedom. But unfortunately he is related to the heir, and he is going to be the son of the future king. The problem is, you can't have one foot in and one foot out. This is the issue that's being debated at the moment. Meghan and Harry were recently branded hypocrites for using a private jet to travel to the south of France and a visa for trips just two days apart. The couple frequently speaks out on climate change issues, and notably traveled via a private jet to Sicily for the secret of Google Camp, where guests discussed climate change, human rights and online privacy. Airplanes contribute to more than 2% of global emissions, leading one Twitter user to declare the couple were a bunch of hypocrites. Prince Harry once admitted that he was very jealous of his brother, Prince William, and his marriage to Kate Middleton, in a newly resurfaced interview. Since Buckingham Palace announced a split between the Cambridge and Sussex households last year, rumors started spreading that the royal in-laws were feuding. Royal correspondent Camilla Tomini claimed the row had started when Kate was left in tears by Meghan, following a bridesmaid's dress fitting for Princess Charlotte before the Duchess of Sussex's royal wedding in May. More recent reports have suggested the actual tension was between Harry and William rather than the two duchesses. Royal author Katie Nichol revealed the brothers' issues stemmed from William, who urged some caution in a well-meaning brotherly fashion when Harry started getting serious with Meghan. Harry was reportedly left angry and hurt by his brothers' comments. Commenting on the state of their relationship now, author Penny Juror told the Daily Mail last week, William and Harry were once so close, friends, allies, brothers, always teasing so obviously happy in each other's company. Gates seemed to fit into the relationship seamlessly. It would be nothing short of a tragedy if the bond between Diana's boys was to fall apart permanently and something the public would hate to see. According to a newly resurfaced interview with the Duke of Sussex, sibling rivalry and a bit of jealousy is something that has always affected the brothers' relationship. In an honest interview conducted before the 28-year-old Harry flew back to Britain after a 20-week tour of Afghanistan in 2013, the prince said, Before coming out here I was very jealous of my brother. Referring to William's former job as a RAF flight lieutenant in Anglesey, Harry added, It's operational flying back home. You get all the luxuries of operational flying, the pride, as you call it and the reward of basically saving people's lives, which is exactly what we try and do as well. 
and back home he gets to go home to his wife and dog, whereas out here we don't. We're stuck playing PlayStation in a tent full of men. However, Harry revealed that there was envy on both sides, as he believed William was also privately frustrated at not being able to serve on the front line because of his future role. He said, I think there is a bit of jealousy, not just the fact that I get to fly this, but obviously he'd love to be out here. And to be honest with you, I don't see why he couldn't. His job out here would be flying the IRT, immediate response team, or whatever, doing Chinook missions. Just the same as us, no one knows who's in the cockpit. Yes you get shot at, but if the guys who are doing the same job as us are being shot at on the ground, I don't think there's anything wrong with us being shot at as well. People back home will have issues with that, but we're not special. The guys out there are, simple as that. At the time, in 2013, Prince Harry was 100% single and claimed he did not feel any pressure to settle down quite yet. He said, I don't think you can ever be urged to settle down. If you find the right person and everything feels right, then it takes time, especially for myself and my brother. You ain't ever going to find someone who's going to jump into the position that it would hold, simple as that. Harry met Meghan Markle, his now wife, three years later, in July 2016. The two got married in a lavish ceremony at Windsor Abbey on May 29, 2018 and became parents for the first time of a beautiful baby boy, Archie Harrison, six months ago.